Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do the fastest engineer rollout slash setup. Um, this is a setup that allows you to set up all three buildings level three before the setup time ends. Um, I see a lot of engineers not doing this or not even doing anything similar to this. I, I don't know why. Um, especially in like a competitive scenario, it's very useful. And yeah, things you will need in order to make this as fast as possible, you will need the Eureka effect, you will need the Jag, and you will need a resupply bind. I'll put some info in the description on how to set up a resupply bind. Basically what it does is you press the, the bind and it will just respawn you with all your metal and everything. Um, the reason we use the Eureka effect is for its teleport and the fact that it makes setting up teleporters faster, and even once you switch wrenches, it will st your teleporters will, teleporters will still retain their faster upgrade speed. Even if the exit gets destroyed, the, the entrance will still be much faster to upgrade. And we will be using the Eureka effect and, and the Jag, but you can always switch to whichever wrench you want to actually use once you're done using them. Um, so anyways, and we use the resupply bind, it doesn't really matter on this map because the, re the locker's right next to the door, but on a lot of maps it's not, so it's faster to just respawn than walk all the way to the other end of spawn and resupply. So, this is how we start out. First, outside of spawn, build an entrance and a sentry, and then hit your resupply bind. Obviously the locker's right there, so it doesn't matter, but... Let those set up, and then you want to walk to wherever you want to set up. And then you want to build your exit, and your dispenser, and then you want to teleport back to spawn. Now here you want to switch to the Jag, so that you can upgrade these buildings as fast as possible. By the time you're done doing that, your your exit should be done setting up, so you can just teleport. Set up your sentry, and by this time, your um, your dispenser should have enough metal so that you can uh, fully upgrade it without needing an ammo pack. But I'm gonna grab it anyways because you know. And yeah, that's there you go. If you do it fast enough, you should have. You should be able to finish up just before uh, setup time is over. Once you're finished upgrading the buildings at spawn, you can always switch to a different wrench if you prefer to use something else like stock, for example, for the better repair ability. Personally, I stick with the Jags in case I need to replace any buildings. And yeah, I am going to now uh, switch to Bad Water to just show an example of me doing it uh, really fast on a different map. But yeah, that's basically it. And there you have it. With about 10 seconds left, everything's all set up in level 3. This is, as far as I'm aware, this is the fastest way to do it. The only way it would be faster is if you had another engineer repair your, or upgrade your stuff either at spawn or on the battlefield, but solo engineer, I'm pretty sure this is the fastest way. So thanks for watching, hope this helped.